Right, I am here with the very witty, the very funny, the very famous Niharik, Niharika and I am talking about her. Niharika, welcome to the Influencer Award Show. Congratulations for your award. Thank you, Kabir. The first thing which I wanted to ask you yes. is, what is life like before and after having a staggering 3.5 million followers on Instagram? Honestly, most of it, I promise you, is the same. It's just the extra added hours and I get to dress up like this and go now. But uh, the work is still the same, the hustle is still... Ew, I can't believe I said hustle. Anyway, we'll, we'll chalk that, that out. Very yeah. <laughs> yeah, just the work is still the same. Um, the fun is still the same, the passion is still the same and it just grows bigger every single day. And I'm just happy that I get to do this after I got three degrees and they just hang on my wall but they're three, cute to look at. Three degrees, there was yeah. one which is an MBA from Chapman University. Yes, and then I did computer science engineering before that. In before that. Okay. And then with my MBA I did an MFA. So I did a double master's. Which brings me to my next question. Yeah. You were doing your MBA at Chapman University, right? Yes. And that is when you really sort of got virality and yeah. So was there a sort of thought in your head, people are really getting out of here but what to do? Was there a thought in your head that, you know, now I don't need to complete my studies because I'm so damn famous? Oh my god, absolutely not. I graduated fully from college last Jan and only then did I move. And I wasn't even sure if I wanted to do this full time. I was still going to balance this with like a traditional job. And then when it got to a you point where I couldn't... Oh, fully. And how many followers did you have that time? How many like, millions of... Two point something on Instagram, but my my parents raised me with stability being the most important All thing, of our parents, yeah. and I just felt like the influencer marketing and like the creator economy, even though it exists, it is an unstable job. So I was in two minds until I got to a point where I felt like, oh no, I've made my mark and I've made my place and I'm here to stay. And uh, I won't win this just this year. Hopefully it's every other year, just in different categories. You know, that's the goal. Got it, got it. That's, that's, that's a pretty revealing thing. I mean, even after 2.3 million followers, it's yeah. part of continuing your job. Yeah, because I'm, I'm a huge advocate for being educated because I think I've learned so much, not just academically, but like discipline and how to talk to people how to behave in certain situations and you get that from college and you make the best of friends in college dude if you miss out the college experience like who will you share your ups and downs with right okay. not other influencers just saying so you need your core you need your core people and also at being educated never hurts because you always have a plan b even if you may not need it True. so True. And yeah. does it, like, talking about the fame and all the Instagram followers, does it get crazy being requested for selfies 24-7? Do you think you should be hiring a personal bodyguard anytime soon? Absolutely not. I love it. It's a perk of my job. 90% of my time, I'm shooting indoors. So when I get to go out and meet people, those numbers are actual people. And when those things materialize and you see it, it drives me even more to do what I do because it's being appreciated. Imagine just waking up and doing what you like doing and then people just giving you love for it. How lucky am I? Like, I'm just so grateful. I love it. I'll give 10 selfies, 20,000 selfies. They'll put filter, they'll take off filter, they'll, 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 they'll want a funny one, they'll want a full one, a selfie. I'll do them all happily smiling. Right, which brings me to my last question because yeah. I don't want to hold her before the dinner and the drinks and everything. Um, in the world of showbiz, so now in this case, so when I'm talking about showbiz, I'm talking about the influencer showbiz business. Is there any particular thing or any particular things which you don't like or which should be maybe not be there your opinion on that so I started making content when I was 16 I'm 26 now it's been 10 years I grew up on the internet and I've been in a lot of rooms like this and I used to feel very out of place and I felt like I never fit in and I always wanted to you know I felt anxious because I felt like people would turn on a personality when they came out and I had to I felt like I had to turn mine down and I never enjoyed that but the older I got and the more work I did I realized I'm gonna be me you take it or leave it so I just think the switch of personalities that might happen when you're in social settings that's one thing I'm not really fond of in any industry I guess but this is what this is my home so I'm noticing it here um, I think we can just be ourselves like regardless anywhere it's okay to wear a dress and still crack a joke you know so, so yeah. which brings me to the fact that she's absolutely wearing a gorgeous dress. I thought I Thank dressed you. up well <laughs> till I met No, Kabir, you look very handsome. I could never be. That's it. Let's just end the interview now. But uh, Cold thank, cut. You so much. thank you so much, Nehanika, for talking to us and uh, all the best of you. Thank you for having me and thank you for the award.